Welcome to week number three of Wake Up Foundation. This is day number four. Hey, got something exciting. I've changed the scenery uh, closer to back to my home place. Actually, where I received my uh, education, started my education, Fruitland Baptist Bible College. And today, we get to celebrate something together. We get to celebrate my birthday. Today's my birthday. It's July 23rd. And I'm glad you have continued in hearing the voice of God. We're in Luke chapter 14. And I highlighted verses 25 through verses 27. And what I really noticed as I began to explain the passage and write out what God was saying to me was there were a lot of people, actually crowds of people, were traveling with, with Jesus. But Jesus actually turns to them in verse 26, and he says something shocking. He says, if you don't hate your own father or your mother, your children, your brothers, and your sister, yes, you, even your own life, you cannot be his disciple. Now, hate's a pretty strong word. We teach people not to hate things, not to hate others. But what we see in this passage is, in a comparison to what it means to follow Jesus, there's no comparison. So Jesus is not looking for superficial people, people that would just, you know, seek for what he can do for them. Jesus is actually looking for radically committed followers, people who will give up their life for him, and people that will listen to him and obey him. So as we're going through this journey together, let's remember that this is about 100% commitment to who we're following, Jesus Christ. I want to be a genuine disciple. So my love for Jesus has to be greater than my love for anybody else in the world and anything else. This beautiful scenery here at Fruitland, where I started my education, was a powerful illustration and just a reminder for me that I need to take a, a closer walk with Christ to go deeper in my faith. And my Bible study, my time of prayer enables that. So I just want to encourage you, be authentic fully committed disciple of Jesus. And here's how Jesus tells us how to do this. And this is how I begin to apply it to my life. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. We gotta be willing to face suffering. We gotta be willing to die to ourselves to be that authentic, 100% committed follower of Jesus Christ. So in response, here's my prayer. God, help me be 100% sold out to you every day, understanding that Loving you is more important than anything else.